How to Purl Left-Handed Continental Method. The purl stitch, along with the knit stitch, is the basic stitch that you will use in knitting. With a knit stitch, our yarn goes behind the right-hand needle. With a purl stitch, we're going to bring our yarn to the front. In order to successfully make a purl stitch, we will take our left-hand needle and insert it from left to right under the front leg, giving us our X. We will then take the yarn, bring it between, behind, and around. We're going to want to consistently draw the yarn in the same fashion. Then we simply let our needle guide the yarn to the back. That's going to give us a loop around our left hand needle. And then just like we would at the end of a knit stitch, we slide the existing stitch off. Let's do that again. Left to right, wrap around, through to the back, there's our loop, and slide off. Now, as a left-hander, one thing that I have found that's really crucial is having really good tension in order to be able to get the purl stitch to work and move. Left to right, wrap around. Notice how my index finger pivots up and down while I am getting the purl stitch ready. It's up bring it down, and by bringing it down, it really helps to secure the yarn when we're ready to move forward. Once we've done that, we keep looping, we keep going, we keep drawing. Now if you find it's getting harder and harder to slide, simply take the stitches that you already have, bunch them up a little bit. That bunching is going to move them all up, and it's going to give a little more play See how that just slid right off? Left to right, loop around, slide off. Notice how my yarn is in front of both needles. Now, don't be afraid to play around with the tension of the yarn in your left in your right hand. That's really going to help you. Don't be afraid of trying to figure out how to move your finger to make it work for you. Um, sometimes I just use a finger to help. Other times I just use this one. You just have to try what works for you. That really is the key. Give yourself time and patience while you're learning. Don't worry necessarily about how quickly you move. What is important is that you use the same consistent motion all of the time. Pearl stitch is always going to be left to right under the front leg, loop around in the same fashion, and slide off. Once you have that down, your basic of the pearl stitch is learned and you're ready to begin and move on to other basic stitches in patterns such as the stockinette stitch, the reverse stockinette, and you can even move on to a nice checkerboard pattern as well to really give yourself some practice with working with the purl stitch and the knit stitch combined. Hope you've enjoyed today's lesson of how to knit left-handed. Again, this was the purl stitch left-handed for the Continental Method. Happy knitting!